For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. So when you're in a political unrest, when the world around you is falling apart, what's the answer? Salvation. Gosp the gospel message is still the same answer. You know what they needed in the 1940s? They needed the gospel. You know what the 1960s needed? The gospel. Well, you know, you know the, the 80s, certainly. I mean, every, every generation has their own problems. Let me tell you, every generation needed the gospel. That's the answer to every problem. You say, what's the 21st century need? The gospel. For today, I think of Africa. I think of all these other countries. What's the answer for Africa? The gospel. What's the answer for Europe? The gospel. What's the answer for China? The gospel. What's the answer for Russia? What's the answer for Russia? The gospel. Hey, what's the answer for Pakistan? The gospel. What's the answer for Israel? What's the answer for America? Trump. All right, can you see how we got a little backwards sometimes? Don't tell me how much you care about your country if you're not actively trying to reach people with the gospel. Because that's what's going to change America. You can, you can try and persuade someone's decision to vote R or D or whatever it is you're trying to do. Let me tell you, that's not the answer. The answer is the gospel. How do we save America? Well, we got to get these no good people out of here, tighten up the borders, and we got this, we got... How about we just get the gospel to them? How about we just preach the gospel? You know what we need to do? We need to send an army of soul winners into where all this chaos is going on and just start preaching the gospel. One by one, you'll see people get saved. And one by one, you'll see them put their banners down. And you know what they'll start grabbing? A New Testament and start leading other people to Christ. But take heed to yourself, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. Still not the end yet. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. What do we do in all these moments? He's like, listen, all these things are going to happen. It's not the end yet, but the gospel still must be preached. So what are you going to do when it's illegal, preacher? The gospel must be preached. What are you going to do when there's war? The gospel must be preached. What are you going to do when nations rising against nation and earthquakes and pestilence and, and coronaviruses? The gospel must be preached. God's order doesn't change a bit no matter what the world situation is. God hasn't changed. The solution to the world hasn't changed, the message hasn't changed, and your job hasn't changed. Let's go out and run with the message and preach the gospel to every creature. Win souls on three, win souls on three. One, two, three, win souls! souls.